Okay. All right. All right. So the situation that's happening out in Las Vegas, Nevada, the black dude being sentenced by this judge for domestic violence charges, right? Domestic battery charges. And um, they give him an opportunity to speak on his life, to speak on whatever he wants the court to know about him, whatever he wants to say about the case, whatever, anything he wants to say. They usually do this. So they give him this opportunity. He goes and he starts to tell them that, well, he's pretty much pleading for why he should remain free. He's telling them that, you know, pretty much he has mental illness, which I'm pretty sure they are aware of, but he has mental illness and that he would operate better as a free man in society than he would in jail, right? I'm not saying I disagree with him, but basically this is what he's telling them. And he's saying that, um, you know, he didn't know that he had mental illness and he's learning about himself and he's developing ways to contain himself. You know what I'm saying? So he's doing all that, trying to convince the judge to not put him in jail, right? The, the judge goes now and she goes and starts to pretty much get to get into sentencing him. And um, she says that she's going to give him a taste or she has to give him a taste of something different, right? And that don't really sound that good. It kind of sound like you're being slick. That That's probably how the dude took it. It kind of do sound like that. But basically what the judge was basically trying to say was this dude has felonies. He has priors of the same crime, domestic batteries. You know what I'm saying? So it's like whatever we was giving him, which was probably little short stints and, you know, a little couple months here and there, slaps on the wrist, it ain't working. So let's upgrade that and drop some heavy, give him some heavy this time. You know what I'm saying? And that's probably exactly how the dude took it. And, at, you know, being a sound logical person, that's how you're going to take it. That's, that's what it sounds like. So, all right, boom. So the judge said, all right, she said that right when she say that, the dude, he's not handcuffed, by the way. Let me let me make that be clear. The dude is not in handcuffs. He's in regular street clothes, and he's just standing there, and he could do whatever. There's no nothing protecting the judge from him. You know what I'm saying? There's no cops. You know, security was breached that day. That's a fact. Security was breached. Like that's a breach of sec- breaching security. But anyways, he's. After she say that um, she has to give him a taste of something else, he goes and he dives over everybody. Everybody that was the lady that was in front of the judge, probably the lady that types up everything in the courtroom. He jumps over her clean, jumps over yeah. the whole desk in front of the judge, the whole table, that whole shit. He jumped over all of that and jumped right into where the judge was at grab the judge by her hair and start like ripping her hair out and start like like molly whopping her right there you know what i'm saying now whatever the fuck sentence he was gonna get he, he don't need to even worry about that no more because it just got way 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 ugly way uglier you know what i'm saying that's a fact whatever the fuck he was gonna get it ain't shit to what he's really gonna get so boom he did that right and Dudes is the dudes that was available in the courtroom is it was like one courtroom cop or whatever. He ran up and he started to, you know, what I'm saying trying to pull the dude off the judge. Another dude was trying to pull him off as well until, you know, they was able to get control of the situation. Now. Right. I guess the judge had put something out saying that she st- she still wants him to. Um, face her in the courtroom when she sentenced him. You know what I'm saying? She's pretty much, she's not worried about him. <laughs> like, I, I want you to come and face me so I can sentence you the way I was going to sentence you. So pretty much this is what the judge wants. So, so all right, they just met back up in the courtroom and the guy has some face protection, some spit mask, spit net, whatever over his head so he can't, and he has some shit on his like mints, whatever they call those, on, on his hands. So so he cannot get to the judge in any type of way. So the judge goes, once again, 
to sentence in him. Um, no in interruptions this time. So the judge goes and she gives him, she sentenced him for only 19 months for the original charges that he was facing, the original domestic battery charges. Remember that? That's what he was really facing at first. Now he's facing battery on a judge and all that. But he was only facing battery on like his his girl or whatever. So he got 19 months for that. What's that, a year and seven months? He wasn't even going to do all of that anyway. Do 85% of that, 90% of that. So he got, he got 19 months for that, right? So it's looking kind of sweet right now, but this is not it. He has not been tried yet <laughs> for molly whopping the judge and whenever they try his ass for that they're gonna fry him to a t to a crisp I, I promise you he can fuck around and get 10 years for that seriously he could get 10 years easily for that that's a judge that's in the proceeding of a fucking case you know what i'm saying and you like nigga you violated like every in the worst way you could ever violate it so God bless him. But whatever he gets, he pretty much earned it. He pretty much asked for it. He pretty much asked for it, bro. All right. But a lot of people out here talking about like, yo, he should get 20 years. He should get life for that. Like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. It is what it is, though, man. But this situation, I don't know what to tell this nigga. Just get ready for the worst, bro. Get ready to hear at least 10 years, bro. It might be worse, but it might be more, but I say about five to 10 years, 10 years max. All right? That's it, man. You fucked up, my nigga. That's it. Appreciate y'all, man. If y'all make it to this point in the video, man, I appreciate your participation for staying this long. It's your boy, give it up 100, man. I'm going to see y'all soon for another one, yeah? All right?